two. Not just one, but two. Like, everything's better in twos. Like, ice cream cones, ice cream bowls, books, um, more ice cream. Hey there guys, this is Samantha, and today I have a few book reviews for you guys. So I have two mini book reviews for you guys today. It's because I really didn't have much to say about either of these books. Not that I didn't like them or anything like that. It's just I didn't have much I wanted to share on the books. It's just I can tell you how I liked them, basically, and then tell you a few things that I didn't like and did like. But it's not going to be a full in-depth review like some of my books reviews. Even though I do put a like a video up for a book review for a few of the books that I've read that I basically just told you to go read them. I made an entire video on that. But I decided for just the ease of things because I have so many reviews that I've done this month that I'm just going to put two of them together and then just make my life easier. Since there are going to be two book reviews in this video, I am going to have a link to each part of the videos. So the first book review that I'm going to have is The Thorn of Denton Hill by R Marshall Ryan Moreska, I think his last name is. I'm gonna keep butchering this name, but he told me how to say it. I looked it up last time, but I'm trying to get this done in a hurry, so probably not gonna look it up right now. So if I butchered it I'm sorry but yes the other books that I'm going to be reviewing are the assassin cursed and then the pirate's wish by Cassandra Rose Clark and yes so these are gonna be what I'm reviewing so at this point in time you can click on either of these books and then it will take you to the part of the video that begins the reviews so let's begin with The Thorn of Denton Hill by Marshall Ryan Moresca. I won this off of Goodreads for an honest review and it is an art copy so it has not come out yet but it is going to come out in a few days. It comes out February 3rd I believe. It says right here that it's February 3rd. Let's just get on with the, descri the description. Let me get started by saying I am going to butcher every single word in this entire description. There was just the names and then just the things in there are just named weirdly and I have a terrible time pronouncing names as you guys have all witnessed in every single video I've ever made I mispronounce something or I just quit in the process of trying to pronounce it but just want to get that out of the way I'm gonna mispronounce everything so our main character his name is Veronix um he is a magic student at the University of Meridane. But during the night time, he sneaks out and then basically does everything that he possibly can to screw over Willem Fenmir. And he is the drug lord of the area. And by screw over Fenmir, he basically just destroys all of the effiates, which is basically the drug of this world um and he just destroys all the shipments that he can get his hands on anything anything he can get his hands on he destroys yes but why do you do this you ask not just because of a hatred of the drug as you might assume it although it is a terrible terrible drug oh my gosh but um it is basically because Fenmir the drug lord he murdered Vernix's father and then basically put his mother into a coma and on his nightly roamings he finds out about a big trade of some sort so he goes to the area that he finds out about where the trade is going to be and then instead of effiate like he's assu he assumes it's going to be it is actually two magical artifacts and with these two artifacts that he acquires he basically just screws over Fenmir as much as he possibly can Hence the name, the Thorn of Denton Hill. He is the thorn in Fenmir's side, and then Denton Hill is the city. So, the Thorn of Denton Hill. Yes. Okay, so let me get off with just the rating that I put. On Goodreads, I put a 3 out of 5. I think it's actually more of a 3.5 out of 5, but since Goodreads doesn't have half stars, I'm going to have to stick with 3 stars because, honestly, I just felt a little weird about giving it a 5 out of, I mean, a 4 out of 5 stars. The storyline itself I liked because it was 
a little bit different. I liked the magic student part and then how he went after a drug, drug lord because I've never heard of it before and unique storylines are always wonderful. Although I am not a huge fan of the writing, he gets a little bit redundant, he repeats himself a lot. Another thing that I have to say that I didn't like about the book is that he was not very good at describing the different things in his world and with fantasy books you have to be very very good at describing what everything is because he Marshall he renamed the magic like what magic is and then he renamed the time like time like the clock then he renamed a few other things and he just didn't really describe it he just talked about it and assumed that you would know what he meant and like sometimes that was very confusing he just didn't really explain it too well in my opinion. Now with those negatives that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy the book. I think it was a pretty good start to the series and I will be continuing with it. Now with those negatives that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy the book. I think it was a pretty good start to the series and I will be continuing with it. And it was a pretty good read. It was a pretty good read and it has good promise. It has great promise. But it's just, I understand, my biggest concern with this book was the writing and its redundancy. And I understand that this is an uncorrected proof, but, and it might change with the actual publishing of the book. But hopefully it gets a little bit better in the next book because I will probably be picking that up. But that is all that I have for that book. And now on to the next book. Okay, so the review of The Assassin's Curse and the Pirate Source by Cassandra Clare. Why did I say Cassandra Clare? It's because they both have a CC initials. Cassandra Rose Clark. But these two books are definitely very, very good. Very, very good. But let me get on with the description. So this book is about a girl named Anana and she is a pirate who is getting forced into a marriage with a man because one family has power and the name that goes with the power and the other family has money and so pairing inevitably happens. But Anana does not like this so she runs away when she first meets the guy as soon as she gets the chance. And because of this, her ex-betrothed, betrothed, I can't pronounce that word, betrothed, okay, her ex-fiance's family sends the assassins after her. And the assassins are feared by everyone because they are unavoidable and then they practice blood magic, which is taboo basically because everyone is terrified of it. So terrified. But before the assassin has a chance to kill Anana, when he finally catches up to her, she accidentally saves his life. And it sets off a curse with the guy, and so he now has to save Anana's life whenever he gets the chance. He has to protect her for all that he is worth or he has caused immense pain. And then the book series, the book duology is basically just them trying to break the curse. So, this book I loved so much. Got a 5 out of 5 stars. Both books, they're so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. First of all, so this has nothing to do with the books, but you guys know I have to point this out. The covers. God, they're so beautiful. Just look at the cover. The colors, for one. Colors. These colors are beautiful. And then just the stylization of them are just wonderful. The only thing I have to say about this entire cover set that I don't like is I don't like how there's a, there's a sphinx. Here, I don't like how this sphinx looks like randomly. It just looks like it's like literally like pasted on top of the hills. I wish they would have just like let that out. That is the only thing I don't like about these covers and they're so pretty. There aren't too many negative things I have to say about this book, but the one thing that bothered me at first was the writing style because Anana, as a pirate, she is not very well versed in the English language or whatever language that she speaks. It is written in English, so I'm gonna say she speaks English. And most writers would just have the, the uneducated person have their dialogue to show that they are uneducated but her thoughts like because this is first person it, it, her thoughts and the actual writing itself 
is written the same way that she talks, which at first I really really annoyed me because it got in the way of me getting into the character, but after a while I really enjoyed it because it helped me get into the character after I got past my first reluctance to like it. I absolutely loved Anana. She was such a great character. She was very believable and I just connected with her. I loved her so much. Oh my gosh. The book series had a satisfying ending but I wish there would have been an epilogue for like a year or so later just to like kind of cement what happened and everything like that because I loved the ending but I wish there would have been more because epilogues are amazing. They're an amazing invention. Whoever created it blogs, I love you. One of the things that I actually did not like about this series is that a considerable chunk of them, chunk of the book, they were literally like stuck somewhere for a very long time and that they couldn't do much. Not that there, did, there wasn't anything that happened, there was still like exciting things that happened, but it was still the fact they were stuck somewhere, they couldn't do anything. It reminded me of Harry Potter when they were stuck in the, the um, forest for a very long time, that it really wasn't that boring, but it was still, you wished it wouldn't have happened kind of thing. But that's really all that I have that's negative about this series, is that there was a chunk of the series like the end of this book and then the beginning of the other book they were stuck somewhere and it just bothered me a little bit but yes that is my review of this series read it if you get the chance if you like pirates and assassins and young adult and stuff like that because who doesn't like pirates and assassins I mean come on but yes that is all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed watching because I sure as hell love talking I will see you guys next time